just can't let this disease take over your life. You have to be in control of the disease. I met Annie many, many years ago. She was one of our uh, first uh, people with MS in our MS center. When she was diagnosed, there was no treatments for multiple sclerosis. Remember, multiple sclerosis has been around for hundreds of years. We didn't get treatments for MS until the early 1990s. When I was diagnosed, my oldest was eight and his brother was seven. So having a seven and eight year old and ending up in the hospital for 10 days, it was like I didn't know what I was gonna do. Thankfully, my husband is an unbelievable husband. He is my rack. Annie's been a classic person with MS. She's had ups and downs. She's had relapses and remissions. Multiple sclerosis is a chronic neurologic disease with both inflammatory and degenerative components. It can rob people of the ability to walk and it can affect things like their vision. But we also know with effective treatments, overall good health, many patients will do extremely well with MS. They'll go on and live normal lives. We here at Loyola have a comprehensive multiple sclerosis center, and that's a designation afforded us by the Consortium of Multiple Sclerosis Centers. And what that means is we take a very comprehensive approach to working with people with MS. One of the challenges we have in multiple sclerosis now is not the lack of therapies, but the number of therapies. There's over 18 medications approved now by the FDA for use in the United States for relapsing and active secondary forms of multiple sclerosis. We now can really try to pair the patient to the best medication and treatment for their multiple sclerosis. One of the reasons I think that she has done so incredibly well is her ability to listen to her body and to respond. Annie's not a lady who sits around and pities herself. I am passionate about MS Aquatics and just keeping yourself moving. For me, that's the real hope with MS, that this becomes a manageable medical condition that's in the background of somebody's life. We pay attention to it, we try to treat it, but it doesn't completely dictate and control what they are gonna be able to do. You definitely need to be with someone who is knowledgeable about MS because there's just so many crazy things that can go on with MS. It can impact every aspect of your life. It's a lifelong journey. These people become friends and, and partners as much as they are patients, and I think Annie appreciates that too. <laughs>